in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless, it was void, there was deep darkness over the face of the waters. It says, and the Spirit of God hovered over the face of that deep. And then God said, let there be light. You might be in the darkest moment of your life. You might be facing hard trials that you didn't think would ever come your way. You might be in a storm that has shaken your faith to the last strand and you feel like you're barely holding on. You don't know what's next. You don't know what you should do. And you feel as though there's nothing but darkness and there's nothing bright about your situation. But can I remind you that the wonderful Lord that we serve, that the God, our Father, who has saved us and redeemed us and transformed our lives, that God did not need anything to start the world. God didn't need our participation for creation. God did not need us to be there. He did not need resources nor materials. He needed nothing but his own word and the power of his spirit. You see, when God created all things, he said, nobody else said anything. Nobody else was there. It was nothing but the presence of the spirit and the word of God that brought all things into existence. So in the situation that you're facing and in the darkness that you're coming up against, no matter how discouraged you are and no matter how resourceless you feel, can I remind you that the presence of the Holy Spirit is with you? For Jesus said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. That's what the scripture says of the Lord in Hebrews. It says that he will never leave us nor forsake us. And he also said that he would send another comforter to be with us always, that he would never leave us. So we have the presence of the Holy Spirit. So what else is needed for creation besides the presence of the Holy Spirit, at least, you know, looking at creation, how it began in Genesis? Nothing but the Word of God. All you need is God's Word because His Word has limitless power that requires nothing else to be fulfilled. It does not require finances to be fulfilled. It does not require good circumstances to be fulfilled. It does not require the favor of man or opinions or good um, relations with other people in your life to be fulfilled. It requires nothing but itself. The Word of God is sufficient in and of itself. So, in the darkness that you're facing and in the struggle and the trial that's coming up against you, All you have to do is speak that word. Cling to the word of God. If you're struggling with guilt and shame and condemnation over your past, cling to the let there be light. Cling to the truth that comes from 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, he, God, is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If you're battling loneliness and you feel like everyone has cut you off, can I remind you that God has said, he has spoken even in the midst of your darkness. He has spoken, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He has placed the very presence of himself by his spirit on the inside of you. If you're battling struggles against demonic power and you just feel like the enemy's coming at you one thing after another thing, tormenting thought after tormenting thought, can I remind you that Ephesians says, take up the full armor of God and you'll be able to stand against all the strategies of the evil one. You'll be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. And the Bible says, submit yourselves to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. And he's gone. No matter what darkness you're facing, no matter what loss you're going through, no matter how hard the situation feels, because I know sometimes our feelings just, they make it crazy. No matter how good or bad the situation is, sometimes our emotions just make it feel like we're, we're sinking in deep water. But can I remind you, can I remind you, all you need is the word. And God can create something beautiful. God can create something fruitful. God can create something fresh. 
by nothing but his spirit and his word. No matter what you're facing, no matter what you're going through, just cling to the word of God in trust that just as in the beginning, he said, let there be light and there was light. That whatever he says concerning your situation, it shall be, no matter how the situation looks, no matter if the finances are lined up, no matter if the relationships seem to be mending or not, his word is self-sufficient, all-powerful and eternal. It shall come to pass. Will you believe it? Let's pray together. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you would strengthen us in accord with your word, that your power would gird our hearts with courage and faith to speak your truth, to echo your wonderful voice in the midst of any darkness. And we thank you that you will cause there to be light. In Jesus' name, amen. If you agree, say amen as well. And also, if you think this is going to encourage somebody, you have a friend, family member, someone, you know they're going through something and you think this will help them out, please do me a favor and share this message with them. Also, if you'd like to help continue spreading the content, support me and what I believe God's called me to do in the ministry and all the videos and content, etc., uh, you can become a partner with the ministry by going to seekingjesusministries.com slash donate. Also, if you feel led to just at this moment, give a single gift, a single donation. You can also go to seekingjesusministries.com slash donate. There you'll see the options to either do a monthly partnership, a continual uh, gift, or just a single gift. Both of those are extremely helpful. I just ask you to ask the Holy Spirit how you can help. Uh, I appreciate you watching this. Until next time, remember, Jesus is enough. God bless you.